every particle has an antiparticle which is identical to the particle but with opposite electric charge. If the two meet, they destroy each other and leave behind a flash of light. Pairs of particles and antiparticles, like electrons and positrons, are all around us. They are constantly created out of vacuum fluctuations but immediately destroy each other again, leaving behind no net energy. If we invest sufficient energy, we can tear apart the virtual pair of particles and create a pair of real particles that can trigger a detector. But the virtual particle pairs have consequences even if they do not become real. They do, for example, lead to a polarization of the vacuum around an atomic nucleus. This causes a shift in the energy levels of electrons, which can be observed. I know it seems strange, but the vacuum around us is never really empty. It's always full of virtual particle pairs. For reasons nobody knows, there's almost no antimatter in our universe. We can create it if we collide particles at sufficiently high energies so that a particle-antiparticle pair can be created. That's how we know that antimatter exists. But why there is almost no antimatter around us, nobody knows. It's one of the big unsolved problems in theoretical physics. According to the theories of modern particle physics, matter and antimatter could be exchanged for each other and it wouldn't make any difference. But because we see so little antimatter around us, the symmetry between the two must have been broken, most likely in the early universe. Matter and antimatter, so we think, was not created in exactly equal amounts. Most of it annihilated, but a little was left over. It's this little leftover that you and I and everything we see is made of.